Hi, hello guys. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's lesson, we will be discussing about life cycles of animals. Okay, ito po yung milks natin. Compare the stages in the life cycle of organism. So, ikakompare lang po natin yung life cycle ng iba-ibang uh, uh, animals. Then, these are objectives. Identify the similarities and differences of the stages in the life cycle of different animals. Mix, make a comparison and contrast chart of the life cycle of different animals. Value the importance of the environment on the life cycle of organism. So all organisms undergo a life cycle, di ba? So kung hindi sila mag-undergo ng life cycle, hindi sila mag-reproduce, di ba? So climate change is considered to be one of the major environmental conditions that affect the life of an animal. Same as global warming, di ba? Isa dito ang factor kung bakit uh, nababawasan yung uh, dami or pagre-reproduce ng mga animals dahil sa global warming and climate change. Kasi naapektuhan na po yung kanilang habitat. Okay, let us keep that. Ay, hindi ko na to i-play guys ha, kasi eh, baka makapirate ako. Okay, so let us Look at these pictures. So, makikita nyo po dito yung, uh, sa pictures yung mga animals. Okay? Yung adult and young animals. So, same as here. Young ad uh, adult and and their young and their youngs. So, ano kaya yung pagkakahalintulad or pagkakaiba ng kanilang mga life cycle? Okay, most animals, including fish, mammals, reptiles, and birds, have very simple life cycles. They are born either alive from their mother and or hatched from eggs. So, may mga animals po na simple lang po yung life cycle. Okay, so these animals have three stages before birth young and adult. So yung uh, mammals, most, uh, mostly mammals, reptiles, at birds. So before birth, then young, then adult. For example, yung uh, chicken, yung adult chicken, maglilay sila ng egg. Kapag itong, uh, itong hen, uh, naglilay ng egg, tapos yung egg ay naghatch. So ito na yung cheek. Katapos ng cheek, and uh, Habang tumatagal, nagiging chicken na siya, ay adult. Uh, nagiging adult uh, chick. Ano na siya? Nagiging chicken. Ganun din sa life cycle of a hard horse. So yung mad uh, adult horse, magkoconceive siya. Then pag uh, pinanganak niya yung kanyang uh, new vo uh, newborn foal, and then itong newborn foal, ay magiging yearling. Okay? So, medyo lalak siya ng konti hanggang maging adult horse na ulit siya. Okay? Next is metamorphosis. Ito naman yung ibang klase, dun sa mga ibang mga animals or insects. Gumagamit po sila ng metamorphosis. This is a major change in the form or structure of some animals or insects. That happens as the animals or insects become an adult. So, magkaiba yung stages niya. Hindi, hindi katulad noong mga normal stages lang na alam mo na ayun, uh, habang tumatagal, yun yung magiging itsura nila hanggang sa paglaki. May konting pag pagbabago na. Okay. For example, is life cycle of butterfly. Okay. Insects undergoing complete metamorphosis our complete stages of growth and development have four stages in their life. So may tinatawag tayong four stages or complete metamorphosis. First is egg, which is the unborn stage. Okay? Yung adult na insect or animal, maglilay sila ng egg. 
and which is the unborn state stage. Next is larva. Larva referring to its young stage where most of the feeding is done and that the insect looks like a worm. Okay? Kapag napisan na yung itlog, nagiging worm na siya. Okay? Yung larva. Next is pupa. Pupa which is the inactive stage or no feeding and takes place between larva and adult stages and is usually well camouflaged as a sign of protection. So kapag uh, doon sa stage na nila ng larva, uh, madami silang uh, nakain, ano ba feeding ko baga? After ng stage na yon, magiging pupa na siya at magkakamuplage po siya para uh, ma-protect niya yung sarili niya kasi no feeding na kasi yan eh. Kung baga, madidevelop yung, uh, yung, lar uh, yung larva doon sa kanyang pupa. Okay? Next is adult stage, which is the final breeding stage wherein the insects usually grows into one much uh, into a mature one. Okay, from egg to larva to pupa hanggang maging butterfly na siya or adult but, uh, butterfly. Okay, on the other hand, other insects undergo three stages of development only which is referred to as incomplete metamorphosis. Ay, tandaan natin, kapag complete metamorphosis, apat po yung stages. Kapag incomplete, pwedeng tatlong stages lang yan. Examples of insects under this group are the dragonflies, grasshoppers, spiders, and cockroaches. Okay, first is egg, which is the unborn stage. Next is nymph refers to the young stage where most feeding is done. Okay, kapag napisa na yung uh, egg, yan, nagiging uh, nymph na siya. Okay, ang liliit nila. Next is adult. So, lalaki lang yung nymph na yun hanggang maging adult na siya. This is the final stage wherein the development of wings is included. Okay, parang ito din. Ito, complete metamorphosis ito katulad ng sa frog, life cycle of a frog. Pero medyo kakaiba lang yung kanyang uh, life cycle. Okay? So what are the effects of the environment on the life cycle of animals or insects? Climate is considered to be one of the major environmental conditions that affect the life of an animal. The changes that took place within the year affect the key stages of their life cycle. Okay, this include animal migration, mating, and blooming. Such changes like this usually are not good timing for migration, breeding, and availability of food. Kasi kung uh, naapektuhan po, uh, po, po yung uh, habitat nila, maano din, apektuhan din yung breeding nila. Diba? May climate change, di ba? So, magmamigrate itong mga animal na ito or yung mating season nila ay maapektuhan. So, ganun po kalaki yung impact ng climate change. And then, yung availability ng food. Siyempre, kailangan din naman ng animals yung availability of food. Kaya sila nagmamigrate. Or those changes are not good timing for migration or breeding. O may climate change, hindi siya ano, sasakto. So, as your task, you are tasked to compare uh, life cycle of mosquito and other life cycle of chosen animals. Kindly uh, give the similarities and differences. And then explain how we can control the population of mosquitoes by knowing their life cycle. Give two suggestions. Same as life cycle of cockroach, life cycle of housefly, life cycle of termites. Bakit ito yung uh, napili ko na i-compare nyo sa ibang life cycle? Kasi ito po yung mga pest, di ba? Na kinakailangan mabawasan yung population. Kasi hindi sila maganda kapag madami. Diba? Hindi maganda ang dulot ng mga ganitong uh, 
uh, ng mga insects. Kaya kailangan controlled lang yung population nila. Or dapat konti lang yung population nila. So I hope you learned something in my uh, simple discussion. See you next see you in my next video. Bye-bye.